What's up guys? Peter here. I've got exactly 15 minutes to do this video, so um, a lot of stuff to open today. A lot of goodies to share and um, you know what? Let's just get started. I'm on vacation this week um, and I decided to go for a big, big hunt yesterday. I literally hit about eight Walmarts in my area yesterday. Um, did a morning hunt, was partially successful, but the big stuff came at night and um, to top things off, I got a uh, special purchase delivered to me today that I'm totally excited to share with you guys. So I'm going to start off with the morning haul, what I got in the morning. So I'm going to start off with the CRX from the Cool Classics. I love this casting. I already have one, but I want to get a second one because I'm going to crack this baby very soon, probably tonight. So it's right here. I don't collect too much of the cool classics. There are a couple of cards I do like that I can't find on the pegs. This being one of them. And there's a couple of Camaros and Mustangs that I'd be looking for. But I'm glad I got it. And again, I'm just focus properly here. CRX in blue. You can never have too many of these bad boys on a Batmobile on the pegs. I took it. Why not? There's a Morris Mini that I found too. I actually found two of them. So, um... Not uh, going to be in this video because I already gave it to my kids. Uh, so they cracked that open already. Now, got me another stalker as well. Have a couple of these. I think this is, this is a treasure hunt I have the most of. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is probably my 23rd. People are just leaving on the pegs now here. Um, I think people are after the fiesta. So they see stalkers, they just leave it behind. I'm very happy to have gotten another one of these. This completes my second set. And I'm actually going to move on to my third because I've now got one. My rule is get two of everything. So um, I've got two full sets now of the Spider-Man series. And uh, I'm going to look for now for a third, hopefully with an evil twin, so I can crack those bad boys open. Because you know what? I actually don't mind the cards. And a lot of people say, oh, just the artwork is nice. But I, I look at my set and uh, I like it. It's pretty nice. Now on to my successful evening haul. I was um, in the store late at night, they were about to close, and um, wasn't expecting much. I mean, I went there really to look for another Spider-Man series, and um, as I was leaving, I did, there was nothing there. I mean, there was a couple of um, Fast and the Furious cars. There was a K-Case dump in that had already been gone through, so there's no, no treasure hunts there. Uh, but as I was leaving, it was almost like 10 to 11, I saw a lady starting to restock, and to my surprise, these cars weren't even supposed to hit Canada, as far as I know. I know they've been in the States. A lot of you States watchers, this is probably, you guys will probably have a ton of these. But for us, we weren't even expecting this here in Toronto, in Canada. And, oh, actually, I'm sorry. forgot to include this. I also got a Fiesta in the morning. But anyways, um, what I was really going to show you guys is this series right here. Again, you guys may already have this. But to us... Brand spanking new, supposed to hit the shelves today. I got it last night. I got to even take the case with me. I took um, eight of them. So right here. Boom. Got the whole set. Actually got two sets. One that's uh, over here in the living room, but I got two full sets of the 50 years of Mustang. There's about two cards I'm not too crazy about, but the rest, the rest are pretty nice. I'm not, not feeling the green, the 03 Mustang Cobra. Not feeling that too much. But hey, it's part of the set. I like having complete sets. And I got it. So I got two of these bad boys. I feel like cracking one open, but I don't know. I might just, just leave it for my kids, you know? This mock is really nice. So, um... Yeah, got a box to storm in. And I'm gonna move on to what is the main event of the unboxing. And I'll be honest with you guys, it's moved me into a new realm of collecting because I've never done this before, but I really wanted the next case of the retros. And I knew it's gonna be hard to find the um, the kit card in specific, the kits, super pursuit mode. So um, a friend and I was in the same boat. He's like, you know what? How hard is it gonna be to find these? I'm like, you know what? A lot of scalpers in our city, you probably won't find them. Right? You won't find them as early as you go. I think uh, where I live, a lot of the employees are in on taking some of the big 
dollar items that they see. Evil Twin being one of them. Uh, I don't know how I scored an Evil Twin. But anyways, um, let me just get right to it, man. Why am I wasting so much time? So we ended up ordering two boxes, two cases online of the D retro case. I'm gonna do an unboxing of one. The other one is, uh, is my boy, so I can't touch that one. We're gonna deliver that bad boy to tonight, or maybe tomorrow. But let's take mine out. Boom. Right here. Hot Wheels D case. You see? Yeah, you should be able to see the assortment from there. If not, you can definitely see it right here. D case. Let me just put this back down. Got my trusty knife. We're gonna open this bag over here. Ooh, so new. Never opened a box like this. Not the retros at least. Let me see how many did they give us? One, two, three. So they just gave us three of the Super Pursuit Mode kits. These have just started hitting the shelves this week. I think the first uh, case that we saw on the shelves was on um, Tuesday. Out of all the stores, I think there's only two in our city that have them. And of course, first thing in the morning, I was actually there when they put these out. So the employees must have taken them because the kits were not on the, on the shelves. Everything else was. Look at that. That is nice. I wasn't too crazy about the Super Pursuit mode, to be honest. I still like the traditional um, traditional kit kit car, and I like the car a lot, but this is um, not too bad. I know it was a part of the show. They actually, um, I do remember the show. He did go into Super Pursuit mode quite a bit. So uh, glad to have that on the collection, the assortment. Next up is Tommy Boy. Now, a lot of people that I've been talking to aren't too crazy about the Tommy Boy car. They just think, uh, you know, it's the, the filler of the series, but I actually like it. It's pretty nice. I, I've seen one of these, uh, I think somebody on YouTube, Diecast1, or I forget the name, I'm, I'm following him and subscribing to him, but he opened it up and it's a really, really nice car. I'm going to crack one of these open myself too. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm on the fence on whether I'm going to crack over a kit car. Uh, I think I might, you know, keep an eye out and see if I can find out the pegs and that one I'll crack open. But at the same time, you know what, I spent money for this. A lot of money for this um, so I, I might just crack it you know that's I have no interest in selling these these are for, for the collection one is to open to our to box or to keep box for my kids but here's the next one is the Aston Martin car another one great detail the box and probably the resolution that YouTube will turn these into will not do these cars justice but these are really really nice there's the Aston Martin DBS this is uh, another great one. It's in, it's in a matte finish. I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube already about this, but the Dodge Charger from the Fast and the Furious. Insane looking car. This, I'm dying to open up. I might crack it open tonight. Because the rims really look nice on this one. The matte finish looks incredible. I've got it on the, um, I've got the glossy finish that's in the, um, that's in the, um, the series that they just re-released. And this is the one that we ended up getting four of. It's the Karate Kid car. Four? Four? So it's the Ford Super Deluxe 1948. You know what? It's not, it's not bad. It's a really nice looking car. It's going to look nice on the display. I've got a couple of retros now. that I started opening the retros from the last series. Um, I've got only because I had doubles. So I was looking up to get doubles. But... Everything else from before that, I've got singles of, so those are going to remain box. I can't open those. I've got, uh, you know, the extra ones. I've got the, um, the kits. I've got the car. Um, got a lot. I've got a lot from the first series. Um, so unless I'm able to score, like, dupes of those, those are going to remain boxed up. But um, I'm happy this came in. Uh, it looks like I did keep it well under 15 minutes. So I'm glad um, I was able to share this with you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed Keep hunting for these cars, man, because uh, the kit cars are going to be really hard to find on the pegs. But I don't think it's going to be impossible. I I've noticed that out of all the retro lines, the last one, the C case, 
they um, really restocked a lot of those on the shelves. So that they were routinely restocking those, whereas the previous cases, at least in my town, they were very, very hard to find, mainly because uh, they just wouldn't stock them as much. Like, I mean, it'd be rare that they'd actually put them on the, on, um, on stock or on display on the peg. So I'm glad that um, they're seeing how popular the series is and they're trying to at least uh, feed more to the public. So um, with any luck, I'm going to be very persistent over the next couple of weeks to see if I can find another um, one or at least two so I can crack one open. I'm dying to crack one of these open uh, of the kit cards. I think the ones I'm going to have...